the movement of the water is something that is, is really, really special. That total immersion, it's just you and the elements. Generally, I get up at 5.30 every morning. I wake the kids up and we head off for a surf. It's wonderful with a sport like that. In the beginning, it's hard yards when you're teaching them, but you always begin with the end in mind. And the end is having a relationship with people you love, doing something that you love. Yeah, I think as an entrepreneur, having a supportive partner is actually crucial. And in Sue, you know, she's my best friend. We've, we've always had the end goal in mind. Our mantra in life has always been memories, relationships and experiences. And we've carried that through to our business. The previous partnerships that I've gone into have typically been in property. And I've worked with investors both locally and internationally. And what I've typically brought to the party is youth and enthusiasm. Being an entrepreneur certainly allows you to have your antenna up. I suppose you'd call it your reticular activator. You, you know, when you want to move in a certain direction, you tend to find lots of people that are moving in that direction. And the key there is just to find the right people to move along with, because that controls the speed at which you move forward. I've drawn a lot of inspiration from an entrepreneur called Peter Diamandis. He wrote a book called Bold. In that book, he spoke about another three billion people coming online by 2020. I wasn't online. I didn't have an online business, but I realized I needed to learn. I found out everything I could about that industry and literally over a process of three years I looked at over a hundred different businesses. I think it was uh, Steve Jobs said that the goal of every entrepreneur should be to make a dent in the universe. So I looked at a business not that just had a financial reward but something that could actually do something good for mankind. One of the greatest challenges we face as humans is that billions of people in the world still don't have access to the information and knowledge that is freely available to change the quality of their lives. They enact the knowledge to solve real life problems that are inherent in their communities. Problems like climate change, agricultural issues, energy issues, business and financial issues, and the opportunity to learn and compete equally in a global marketplace. So my vision is to help a billion people in the world get access to a world class education. This is something really worth focusing on for me. I knew I needed to find a way to incentivize this transfer of knowledge and I explored the options of using blockchain technology to achieve this. I also knew I couldn't achieve it alone. I needed to find people and to build a community that believed the same as I did. They believed that it could be done. And in my research I met a kindred spirit in Karnaka E. Ashwand. He really is an expert in the blockchain space and also passionate about educational reform. Together we founded Forward Protocol, a blockchain-based knowledge protocol that facilitates decentralized and democratized learning globally by connecting experts with learners, focusing on value creation, excellence and rewards. I knew we had created a platform that would give a billion students access to the education they needed to live better lives. Nelson Mandela said, education is the great engine of personal development. It is through education that the daughter of a peasant can become a doctor, that the son of a mine worker can become the head of the mine, that a child of farm workers can become the president of a great nation. It is what we make of what we have, not what we are given, that separates one person from another. Six or seven years ago, Sue and I decided to homeschool our kids. They were both in private schools and were doing exceptionally well. But we just wanted the opportunity of spending time with them as they grew up. Now remember our kids were in a very fortunate position because they were in private schools. But the education system in South Africa is absolutely crippled. There's so many people that leave school that are illiterate, that have no hope for the future. It started to weigh heavily on me. Was I doing anything worthwhile that could actually contribute to people that were less fortunate than me? When we developed Ford Protocol, I knew we'd found a way for the UNESCO Sustainable Development Goal Number 4 to be achieved by 2030. It was a completely new open sourced way of looking at learning and the transfer of knowledge. It was fully inclusive and would give millions of people across the world access to the education they needed to live better lives. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I believe that with Ford Protocol, together as a community, we really can change the world.